Hey guys, Blazin here. So, yesterday the Xbox showcase happened and I wasn't watching because I was at work. But you know what, I'm glad I didn't watch because after looking at the lineup, I, there's really nothing uh, I'm particularly excited about. So the only thing that I really cared about was Payday 3. So we at least got a trailer and we're just gonna break it down and let's get to it. So let's not waste any time. So for starters, we see the heister's masks, a couple flash grenades, a grenade launcher, uh, an M4, shotgun, and of course there are the blueprints for whatever heist they're doing, and there seems to be a few images around as well. And at the bottom left, you see chains. In this shot, we get a different angle on the heister's masks. To the right is Wolf, and in front is Dallas, which we'll see his face in just a second. And here he is, the leader himself, Dallas, who is looking much better than Payday 2, which isn't that much of an accomplishment, but hey, uh, this looks good so far. And here we get some shots on what the environment looks like in Payday 3. And overall, it's uh, kind of disappointing. It doesn't look like that much of an upgrade from Payday 2. And in fact, it almost looks... It just looks like a cleaner Payday 2. Like maybe some muddy detail if you ever see them in Payday 2 up close. It probably looks cleaner. But yeah, maybe or maybe it's the filtering that they use. I, You'll probably see it throughout the trailer. There seems to be like a really like subtle, I think like green filter that's being used. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe if they removed that filter or maybe if the colors were bright or more brighter. But in terms of the environment, uh, I don't know. It it just seems boring or like I've seen this before in Payday 2. So there isn't that much of a graphical update really. Up next, we get a really good shot of the heist themselves from the back. And overall, I really like their looks. This is the most, like, different they've looked, like, basically since the first game. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the costume designs. We also get a very brief new side shot of Wolf as well. Here's a look at what they'll be stealing. Of course, money! And here is, I guess, a shot of what the camera looks like when we see through it. I don't know how I feel about it. Again, there seems to be a green filter, and I don't know, it's 2023. Can we, can we tone down the, the camera effects just a little bit? And here we have a shot of Hoxon hacking the camera. Uh, and you see Dallas there not giving a shit. But uh, it seems like since the gang doesn't have Bane anymore, I guess they're going to be using their phones to hack stuff for themselves. And here's a very cool trailer sequence of the heisters putting on their masks. Uh, whoever edited this at over at Overkill, are they still called Overkill? I'm actually still not sure. But uh, whoever edited this did a really good job. This was really cool to see uh, when I first watched it. Also, a small detail I noticed is that when they switch to Dallas and when he puts on his mask, uh, the straps are a bit different than Payday 2's. Here we have a shot of Wolf telling the security guard to get the fuck down. And uh, unfortunately, like, just looking at this shot, like, it just looks like Payday 2. Like, if I were to show someone this and compare it to Payday 2, they, think it this, they would think it's the same game. Also, is that black electrical tape taped on Wolf's shoulder? Here we have a shot of the civilians. Uh, it's hard to tell, but I don't know if they look that much better than Payday 2. Uh, maybe a little bit? Not a lot? Here we have a shot of cops coming in, and you can really see the green filter. Uh, I really think this green filter should be removed, and let the, let the colors show up. Now I know I've been shitting on this game's graphics throughout this entire breakdown, but at least here we get a new gameplay mechanic, and a very logical one as well. So in Payday 2, we started to move civilians just by pointing to at them where to go, but now we can finally take uh, civilians in our own hands. This isn't that much of a surprise to me. This seems like, yeah, this is the next logical like game mechanic step to take with the next game, so I'm glad it's here. Next up, we have more shots of the environment, and more importantly, we get a new look at the new uh, SWAT truck, I guess. We also finally get a new look at the SWAT team, which do look better than Payday 2, so that's a plus. Also, get a look at that rope quality. That looks really bad. <laughs> Here we have a new look at the new uh, sentry gun. Uh, it looks really cool. At least it looks different. But if I'm being honest, I kind of like the first look of the sentry gun that Overkill put out. The the really cool uh, suitcase with an MP5K in it. Uh, I really like that style better. It's really unique. This just looks more like a generic sentry gun. Also, why isn't there anything on the screen? It still looks cool. I just prefer the the very first iteration of the sentry gun. Here we finally see some shooting going on, and I have no idea what's going on in the back of the stairs. The blood quality looks a lot better. Again, more explosions. I have no idea what just happened, unless a grenade was thrown. A very nice trailer sequence. This next part is pretty important. Uh, as you can see, Chains is now sliding, 
So Slide is confirmed to be in Payday 3. This next shot shows Hoxton shitting on this poor cop, but more importantly, his weapon has a weapon skin. At the beginning of Payday 2, there were no weapon skins. Weapon skins came later in Payday 2, so it's not too surprising that Payday 3 will have weapon skins at launch. Here we have more shots of what the cops look like, as well as the overall gameplay. Uh, the flare effects from the guns and explosions look good, they're very bright, and like I said before, the cops themselves look pretty clean. You can really see the detail on the cops' tactical vests this time around. Here we can see the double barreled shotgun has returned, although for some reason it's shooting three times instead of two, so I don't know what's going on there. Here we can see what I assume is thermal paste that the heisters are using to cut their way through the floor. Here we just see more of the game as well as the shield unit. This next part is a highlight. Uh, we can see the cloakers have made a return, but more importantly it seems like they're able to wall jump now, which is kind of scary. So it seems like the shield units now have a glass window we're able to shoot through, which is I guess what they're trying to showcase, and they go through the hole they made. Not much to talk about from this point, uh, we just see the, more of the gameplay, and uh, more explosions, and more sliding. Like I said, I think the lighting on the flare effects from like gunshots and explosions look good. I don't know what the electricity effect is going on there in the corner. I don't know if there was an EMP grenade or something. We see more of them trying to showcase that we can shoot through the glass window on shields instead of trying to shoot at their backs. And as I said before, I think the SWAT team looked good. Here we see Dallas slide and then shooting what it seems like some sort of electric box on the taser unit, which explains why he's exploding. Here we can see what reviving a teammate looks like. Uh, it doesn't look that much better than Payday 2. Uh, I know probably animating is hard, but these days, when when it comes to like revive animations, we've seen like something like Apex, I think of that looks a lot better, or even Back for Blood, or even something like the original Left for Dead, where the camera goes into third person and, and there's at least some sort of help up animation. I don't know. What I'm saying is that these days we're seeing a lot better uh, revive animations, and this is just a little outdated. Here we can see what the new doctor bag or first aid kits look like. I doubt the healing system from Payday 2 is going to change, and that's alright, because the healing system in Payday 2 is already pretty good. Here we can see Wolf vaulting over a ledge, so vaulting is in the game, and Dallas with a very nice sprint animation. We get a look at more of the gameplay and explosions, and here we get a shot of the new thermal scope, I guess? Uh, looks pretty cool. We get a quick shot of what being tased looks like. I got 50,000 volts here with your name on them! some more general gameplay, a shield unit, and you'll notice there's those green boxes on the floor. I think those are the new ammo pickups. So this is pretty interesting. So Dallas is sliding into what I believe is a new special unit, and when Dallas shoots at him, a bunch of gas comes out. This might be a new tear gas unit that just throws tear gas around the map. Next we get a better look at the cloaker with new quad goggles, as well as a hidden blade and like a military net around his head. Here we can see what vaulting over ledges looks like in first person, and as well as what I think is Dallas calling for the chopper to get the hell out. I'm not sure who will be driving the van and piloting the chopper this time around, and again, who knows with these new phone devices if this is a new way to do stuff without Bane. Here we see Hoxton using a grenade launcher, the escape van, and uh, since there is a grenade launcher in the game, I'm assuming you know, when Payday 2 launched, there weren't explosions or like explosives at all, so I assume maybe we'll get grenades again, just like in Payday 2, and maybe different types of grenade launchers as well. I don't know if Overkill is going to go as far as giving us like rocket launchers and RPGs again, but we'll see. I don't know if they should or not. And finally, this will be the last thing to cover. There's just other snippets of general gameplay, but we finally get a new look at the fucking bulldozer. With probably the biggest drum mag I've ever seen for a full auto shotgun. And the bulldozer this time seems to have a brand new gameplay feature where they get to fucking tackle your ass. We also get to see a glimpse of the sniper at the back. And that's it for the breakdown of this trailer. Uh, overall, I'm still excited to play Payday 3 despite some of the not so big graphical upgrades. There's only very few little things I can see where they have improved. I'm still slightly concerned on how this game's gonna be at launch. At the very least, unlike Payday 2, I hope this is more bug-free than, than Payday 2, and hopefully there aren't too many exploits. Uh, there is an FAQ that Overkill released, which I'll link down in the description. They do answer actually pretty important questions down there, so if you want to see that for yourself, the link is down in the description. I actually do recommend taking a look. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, overall, very excited, and uh, yeah.
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you want to stick around. Links to my other socials are down in the description. And until next time, peace.